Hey everyone, my name is Zach Bradley, and today I will be showing you how to solve lesson 2.6, Solving Systems of Linear Inequalities. So our learning target for this lesson will be, I can solve, I can graph systems of linear inequalities, and I can find maximum and minimum values for a polygonal convex. All right, so our first example here is gonna be more of a simple one. It's gonna be one with no solutions, but it's gonna show you how graphing inequalities work. So as you can see, these two lines are already in y equals mx plus b format for, to graph. So we're just going to want to graph these lines right here. So the first one is 1, and you just want to use the slope up 1 over 1, because the slope is x. You're going to want to do that all the way down. Graph the line. OK, and now that we have this graphed, um, I'm going to show you how to shade, since this is equal then it will be a solid line but we want to shade everything below the line because it is y is less than so you want to shade everything less than the line all right so for our second line is going to be y is greater than or equal to x plus three so we're just going to want to do the same thing but start at three so one two three we're going to want to do the same slope because the slopes are the same up one over one down one over one We're going to want to graph the same line. All right, and because this line is greater than, you're going to want to shade everything above this line. And in doing so, you can see that there is some space in between the lines. And if you ever see space in between the lines, that means that there are no solutions, because if the lines do not intersect, there are no solutions on the point. So this, the lines don't intersect, so there is no solutions to this particular system of inequalities. Okay, so our next example is going to be a little bit more difficult. It's going to be touching on the solving poly polygonal convex, so it's going to take some equations and form a shape, and we're going to find the maximum and minimum values of that shape. So first we're going to want to throw these equations into y equals mx plus b format, because they're not already there, to graph. So we're going to want to do this one first, divide everything by 2, and it should just be y is less than 5x plus 9. So we can graph this one now. Our second one is going to be, we're going to want to subtract the 1 over, and it's going to be negative 1 minus 2x is greater than or equal to negative y. In order, And then for this next step, we're just going to move the y out to the front to make it easier to graph later. And when we do that, we're going to make sure that this inequality sign is facing the same way as the y. So now it's going to be y is less than or equal to negative 2x minus 1. And then the last thing we're going to do is divide everything by negative 1 to make the y positive. Remember when you do this, just flip the sign. So now it's y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 1. Now we're ready to graph this one. And then the last one all we're going to want to do is subtract the 6 over, so y is less than 6. Okay, so now that we've solved all of our inequalities here, we're going to put this as you can see them, we're going to want to graph the inequalities. So we're going to take the same equa the equations from before, and we're just going to graph them. So this one is y is less than 5x plus 9, so we're going to want to start at 9, and go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1, and down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1. And then when we plot this line, we're going to want to make sure we use a, or we use a dashed line because it is not equal to the equation. So it can be anything less than that equation, or less than that solution, but it cannot be, or less than that line, but it cannot be equal to the line. So we do that real quick. All right. And then for our next line, it's going to be y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 1. So we're just going to want to start at 1, go up 2 and over 1, down 2 and over 1. And this one can be, and this one needs to be a solid line because this can be equal to the line or anything greater than the line. Okay, and then our final line is going to be just a line at 6. This one will once again be a dashed line because it is not equal to it. OK, 
Okay, so now that we've done that, we need to shade all the lines. So according to the equation, so this one is less than, so we're gonna wanna shade everything smaller than that line. This blue line is greater than, so we're gonna wanna shade everything greater than that line. And then this last one is less than, so we're gonna wanna shade everything less than that line. As you can see, I didn't shade in this triangle here in the middle. That's because it is inside of all three of the solution sets. And this will be the shape that we are finding the minimums and maximums for. So before we find the minimums and maximums, we're gonna wanna find the vertices of it. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna use a graphing calculator here. Um, you wanna plug the equations into the Y equals menu on your calculator. As you can see, I've already done this. Once you do that, you just wanna push graph and it will show you something very similar to the line we have here with the triangle right here in the middle. So in order to find the vertices, you wanna push second, calc, scroll all the way down to intersect and find each of the values. So the first one we're gonna find is where the Y or the red line and the yellow line intersect. So you just wanna select the first line and then select the yellow line. And then, as you can see, it intersects at negative 0.6 and 6. So that'll be one of our vertices. It'll be right here. I've already done this for all of our lines. So I have the vertices, negative 6, or negative 0.66, 2.56. And then our last one is going to be negative 2.67, negative 4.33. Okay, so the final thing that we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to find the ma minimums and maximums of these, or of the triangle. So in order to do that, we're going to be using the f of x of y equals ax plus bx plus c. So, and normally, if you get an equation, it will give you the a and the b for the ax plus bx, or by, sorry, it's by. So in order to do that, you're going to want to plug in these problems. So you're going to want to have f of negative 0.66 six equals 5 because that's our a value, 6 because 5 times 6 because that is our x value, plus 3 because that's our b value, times negative 0.6 because that is our y value. And in order to solve that, you're going to multiply that. So 30 plus 3 times negative 0.6. So minus actually 1.8. So 30 minus 1.8 is 28.2. So that's going to be one of our values. The next one will be very similar. F of 2.56 equals 5 times 6, again, because that's our a and our x value, plus 3 times 2.5. So this value will be 30 plus 3 times 2.5, which should be 7.5. So this value will be 37.5. And then for our last one, f of negative 2.67 comma negative 4.33 equals five times negative 4.33 plus three times negative 2.67. So that would be five times negative 4.33, negative 21.65, minus, because this value would be negative, three times 2.67. So you want to take the 21.65 and subtract it from, that's not decimal, and subtract that from the eight. 
and that'll give us negative 13.65 as our final value. So you don't need to calculate anymore. Um, once we have found these, you want to take the largest value, which is 37.5, and this will be our maximum. So our maximum value of all the intersected points occurs at 2.56. And same goes for the other, th the other one, the minimum. The minimum, the smallest number, is negative 13.65. So our minimum will occur at negative 2.674.33 because that is the lowest value in our solution set. So that has been lesson 2.6, solving systems of linear inequalities. I hope this helped you understand that a little bit better. This has been Zach. Thanks for watching. Bye.